Good afternoon, fellow aviators. That's right, in the past few days, the gun grabbers and old Uncle Joe have suggested that we Americans who are worried about protecting our rights, well, I guess we need some F-15s and not AR-15s. And the only thing that I can say about that, folks, is where do I send the check? You need some F-15s. You don't need an AR-15. I'm serious, think about it. And do I have to pick up my F-15 or is this thing going to be like an Uber Eats deal where the delivery fee is more than the food I actually ordered? I honestly don't even mind time sharing an F-15 with a few of my buddies. Seriously, folks, it's been a heck of a week for the anti-Second Amendment set. The ATF's pistol brace rule has more problems than David Hogg trying to lift weights. The president told us we need F-15s. And then Geraldo Rivera, of all people, entered the chat calling for the banning of ARs, all while Alec Baldwin gets charged with involuntary manslaughter. It's going to be a spicy one, folks, so sit back, put on those aviators, and let's start the show. Hey, Let's start off with Lassie's number one enemy, the ATF. By now, you've probably heard about the impending ATF pistol brace rule that'll make millions of us law-abiding gun owners felons overnight if they fail to register braced pistols as SBRs. This, of course, is after the ATF declared it was legal years ago. Hmm, men, I think this may be our own fault. You just couldn't behave. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. It's, it's all, all your fault. It's all your fault. We gun owners made the mistake of treating the ATF like a large rule following federal bureaucracy. Well, that was foolish of us. We should have recognized the ATF for what it actually is. America's angriest girlfriend. Hey ATF, can I put a brace on my pistol? Fine, if you want to put a brace on your pistol, go ahead. I don't even care anymore. Are you sure? If that's what you want, fine, go ahead. All right, thank you. Mom was right. You never even listen anymore. Yep, classic girlfriend behavior. If only we'd read Men Are From Mars, the ATF is from Venus, we would have understood. The ATF's new rule provides for a 120-day grace period where the ATF pinky swears not to arrest you or millions of other Americans who own pistol braces if you just register them as SBRs. Just when we thought the ATS pistol brace rule couldn't have gotten any more convoluted and unconstitutional, the gun owners of America and other pro 2A groups and creators dropped a bombshell this week announcing fatal flaws in the new rule that could further entrap millions of law-abiding gun owners. It's a trap! Here's how this doo-doo butter sandwich is assembled. If after submitting all of your paperwork, the ATF takes more than 88 days after the grace period to complete your background check, guess what folks? Automatic denial. And your corresponding match. Access denied. Access denied. This means congratulations, you are now a felon and have provided the ATF with your name, fingerprints, picture of the illegal firearm that you now possess, and everything else they need. In short, because the ATF was too slow and failed to process your background check in time, you have now somehow broken the law, all the while trying to actually, you know, follow the law. You betray the law! Oh! But wait, there's more! It turns out the ATF has also retroactively decided that most of the imported pistols, such as pistol length AKs, and all other foreign made guns are all in violation of 922R compliance. There is no way to make these guns legal in the United States now, the ATF claims. Your only other options are to turn them into the ATF, or as the rest of us call it, self entrapment or to destroy them. Not to worry, I have a permit. This just says I can do what I want. Anytime the government or anyone else for that matter tells you to destroy or turn in your weapons, you gotta start thinking about the reasons that they're demanding this. We don't normally talk about gun owner politics on this channel because we try to be a place where you can come and just laugh. But with our recent gun denomination for top voices of the two way and most entertaining content creator, I wanted to let you know the latest. So please check out the link in the description to vote for your favorite YouTubers. Hint, you can think of me. 
Don't forget to donate to your pro-gun organizations like Gun Owners of America, Firearms Policy Coalition, and yes, even the NRA ILA, which is not the same thing as the NRA. Tell your representatives that you're strongly against this ruling. Write to them. Make sure you include your name and an address and a well-written statement as to why you're against it. Phone calls and emails are also always a good option. Be polite and courteous so your stance is taken seriously. And of course, I guess compliance is an issue? I'm sure that'll be fine. Put down your weapon. You have 20 seconds to comply. I think you'd better do what he says, Mr. Kenny. On this week's episode of Because Nobody Asked For It, we have Geraldo Rivera and his stance on AR-15s. Oh, Geraldo, where do we even begin? This, I guess, it is America, and you're allowed to have an opinion no matter how wrong it actually is. But if you're gonna actually say something should be banned, especially when it's protected by, I don't know, the Constitution of the United States, you should at least know what it's called. So it's like, okay, bud, let's take about 20% off her over there, eh? Like many anti-2A commentators out there, Geraldo really screwed the family goldfish from the beginning when he said, there is no reason to have an AR-15. There's no legitimate reason, maybe other than sport shooting, if you're a registered person in one of those high-end sports clubs. Submit to you, ladies and gentlemen, there is no legitimate reason, other than maybe sport shooting, if you're a registered uh, uh, person in uh, one of those high-end uh, sport clubs. Uh, th there's no legitimate reason to have an AR-15. This tells you precisely what gun banners think of us. We're too poor, apparently, to be trusted with our constitutional rights. Apparently, Geraldo thinks the Bill of Rights is an a la carte type of deal, and you only get the ones that you pay for, just like the Founding Fathers envisioned. Only people who can afford to pay absorbent taxes to the government are allowed to join Chet, Buffy, Hunter, and Biff at the old country club. We poors can satisfy ourselves with Grampy's old shotgun while we eat squirrel stew before heading down to the big hoedown. And no, that's not the girl you met in your friend's basement when you were 18. I guess we should all be thankful for the table scraps of rights that were given and hope the well-connected folks don't decide we can't handle what they're giving us. You know what I can't wait to see? Geraldo interview Alec Baldwin about their mutual stance on banning guns while Baldwin is in prison for shooting a woman on set because in his own ignorance, he didn't check to see if the gun that he was about to pull the trigger on that was pointed at not one but two people was loaded. It's always the ones on the back quarter of the IQ bell curve that have the loudest voices on things they know nothing about. I guess if your biggest claim to fame is a strong argument for eugenics, then I guess all you are is just the kings of trash. Uh. Every time. If you want more of our hot but accurate takes on morons doing moron things, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're only 5,000 people away from 100,000 subscribers, so every single one counts, folks, and we genuinely thank you for it. Speaking of changing the rules, let's talk about our overlords at the YouTube HQ. Moving right in line with the ATF and retroactively determining that something is no longer good, they've started issuing strikes on videos going back years on almost all gun channels. What the hell is wrong with you people? Lucky for me, my scotch hobby and the 9.8 months a year my neighborhood looks like hot, well, this really hasn't affected me that much because I don't shoot on camera all that often. The higher ups at YouTube have told Mr. Guns and Gear this doesn't have to do with American law, but rather with the interests of foreign investors. Right. This is no different than your girlfriend getting mad at you for something that you said years before you even met her. Next thing you know, you're gonna go home and find half your videos have red strikes on them, and they're thrown in the trash next to all the good InfoWars clips. Dude, America first! America first! Get that through your head! Instead of punishing people that bring in millions of views and countless dollars in ad revenue, why don't you just mark gun videos as only viewable in countries where it's legal and not push foreign advertisers into the American market? That sounds like a great idea. Honestly, it's not like 90% of our views come from the United States anyways. Oh wait. Your train of thought? 
It's like a replacement bus service. You're going to get there eventually, but you're going to end up doing way more stuff than you actually intended. Plenty of times I've clicked on a video and it's told me it's not viewable in my country. Why can't we do this for gun videos if that's your excuse? Oh yeah, that's because you are full of digested food matter that smells worse than a Flying J bathroom after Cinco de Mayo. That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. You're not actually concerned with advertisers' wishes. Come on, you're not fooling anybody. You are trying to censor people that you don't agree with. We're watching you. Honestly, we'd respect you more if you just admitted it. I mean, let's back it up here a second. We're not actually going to respect you, but we would come maybe a little bit closer. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yeah! Now, folks, if you want breaking news on attempts to limit your 2A rights and the latest information about the gun industry, make sure to check out our good buddies over at ARFCOM, your source for the finest 2A propaganda on the internet. Make sure to mention that we sent you along so they know we're not just sitting playing Call of Duty all day. Well, everybody, that is all the nonsense I've got for you today. Come join me over on Twitch, where I'm going to be live right as this video drops. And don't forget to join us next time when we still don't know what the heck we're doing. Bye-bye.